Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Oh my gosh, that was maybe a little bit too excited, <laughs> but I actually am super, super excited. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Draw Their Life. And the shout out winners for the previous episode are... Thanks guys for subscribing. You guys are awesome. If you wanna win a shout out, subscribe to my channel and comment that you've subscribed. And I'll announce the winners in the next episode. And today we're drawing about a person who's been the talk of the town recently. Today, we're doing Draw My Life, Toddy. Yes, Toddy Westbrook has been in the makeup community for almost a decade now. However, she's become popular for the wrong reasons in 2019. We all know about the controversy that happened with James Charles. I feel really lost, and I feel in my community especially, like, I feel really lonely. I will not ask for sympathy, and I will definitely not ask for forgiveness either, but I will ask that you watch this entire thing all the way through. And many of us are wondering, who is Toddy? Toddy, for her followers, has always been this soft-spoken, motherly figure and has a reputation of no controversy, no unnecessary drama, and being real. She started her YouTube channel when she was 28 years old and had the advantage of her age and experience in handling the regular issues of online community. Today, in this video, I've covered everything, from Toddy's whole story to the drama to the undermath of the whole drama. But before that, just answer one question. Who's your favorite now after the whole drama? Toddy or James Charles? Comment below and let's go right into the video. Hi everyone, this is my review of Buxom by Bare Essentials new Smoky Eye Stick. Toddy's real name is Tatiana Alexandra. After marrying James Westbrook in 2017, Toddy is Toddy Westbrook now. She was born on February 14, 1982, which makes her 37 years old. She was born and brought up in Seattle, Washington. Currently, she lives in LA. She has two younger sisters. She was trained in ballet dancing from age three. Toddy enjoyed her dancing, acting, and singing and was very artistic from her childhood. She used to do ballet dancing, jazz, and hip hop too. She grew up aspiring to become an actor. Quick backstory, I grew up as a dancer, I studied ballet, I was into acting and singing, I've totally been an artist from little on. Um, literally, my first ballet class was at age three, and I, I just, I love dancing, I love it, it's a part of who I am. After education, Toddy started working as an image consultant and some makeup freelancing. When she was in her late 20s, Toddy started dating online. She went for many dates, however, was disappointed each time. Then James Westbrook came. She met him on a website called Match.com. Soon they met in person. Toddy says it was an organic growth from meeting a great person to falling in love. We met on Match.com and our first date was kind of funny. I went to the wrong restaurant. They got along very well and started dating. James is from North Carolina. He's a divorcee and has a son from his first marriage. Toddy shares a great relationship with her stepson. Toddy and James got engaged in 2012 and got married later in 2017. It was around the same time when Toddy started her YouTube channel. In her channel, the oldest video we can find is the review of Buxom Smoky Eye Stick. It was uploaded on January 2011. However, as I told, Toddy started her YouTube channel way before in 2010. She started the channel in the name Glam Life Guru, which is still the name of her Insta account, and later changed it to Toddy in November 2010. Many of her initial videos are private now, as she felt embarrassed later on. In a video she made in 2017, which was a reaction to the first video, she revealed her actual first video. She told that she did not tell anyone before she did her first video. Hey guys, this is my very first tutorial. I'm so excited. This is a purple smoky eye and why am I in front of my door? Her husband James, whom she was dating then, had been away for work. She took a lot of time to shoot and edit this first one. Slowly, she started uploading better videos. Toddy's told that when she started out, she didn't even know how to upload a video onto the computer. It's crazy because when I first started YouTube, I didn't even know how to upload footage onto my laptop. So there was so much that I had to learn and research and 
educate myself on and now it's like a piece of cake. So She learned everything in baby steps. Tati was a freelance makeup artist and image consultant before she started her YouTube channel. She was doing the image consultant job as a nine to five gig. Once she left that job, she was still yearning to do something related to makeup and thought of starting a channel. Her job had helped her to gain a good knowledge and insights about makeup. She wanted to share all those. As she says, Tati is self-taught, never attended any school to study makeup as she didn't have money to do so. She was so interested in this that she immersed herself into it and learned in every direction. Tati's sister, however, is a trained makeup artist. She did makeup tutorials, new product reviews, makeup transformations, all that a makeup channel should do. She was gaining subs very slowly but definitely gaining. There was no particular video which changed her channel upside down. It was an organic growth. By 2013, Tati decided to up her game in YouTube and started uploading five days a week. It's a crazy schedule, but she did it anyway. Tati said that taking that decision really changed the way she looked at YouTube. It became her full-time job. It takes a long time to edit videos and I do upload five days a week. Like I didn't want to be, for me personally, someone that uploaded sporadically. I wanted to have a schedule, upload consistently, create series and- Five days a week. She was getting up to do work like she would in any other job. This really helped her getting on track to work more and more. And yes, this improved her views in YouTube. She reached 1 million subs in early 2016 and by the end of 2016, it was 2 million. Now, Tati is all over the internet due to her controversy with James Charles. To know what led to the emotional breakdown between the two, we have to look into their relationship from the beginning. James Charles became an Insta sensation in 2016 and started a YouTube channel on the request of his followers. As he started out, James led to get help from established names in the makeup community. This is because he was so passionate to learn from experienced guys and wanted to grow in the community. So he DM Tati saying that she'd inspired him in getting into this field and he'd love to learn and be a part of her works. Tati, the kind heart as she always is, encouraged James and started to become a mentor for him. Tati and her husband helped James in many ways to grow his channel, to learn about the industry, about the makeup community, etc. This all had helped Charles a lot and along with the amazing talent he has, Charles grew faster than anyone. James Charles got featured in Tati's channel for the first time in December 2017. But I do have a special guest. Hi, sisters. <laughs> <laughs> this is James Charles. You guys already know that. Um James and Tati both were at 2 million subs at that time. Only that James did it in one year. In a short while, James's channel grew so much bigger and he crossed 8 million subs by September 2018 when he came in Tati's channel again. Tati continued supporting him and even had a dedicated episode to promote James Charles Morph eyeshadow palette. But we are going to be taking a first look at the new Morphe palette, which is a collaboration with James Charles, and I'm really, really, really so excited. Um, I have known about this for a while. And James Charles also supported Tati, and she got featured in his channel twice after this. The last one being in January 2019, and promoting Tati's hair vitamins Halo Beauty. James Charles considered Tati as a mother figure, and she being very elder to James and more experienced and matured, tried to always guide James throughout his journey. Now, by May 2019, Tati's channel was at 6 million subs. That's when everything started. Tati uploaded an Insta story talking about being cheated by friends and seemed heartbroken. I have been someone who's been super supportive to my friends. You know, friends should support one another. It, that's how it should be. And Following this, James Charles uploaded an apology to Tati and her husband, James. Then the story kind of unfolded. To Tati and James Westbrook, um, I'm sorry for everything that is going on and everything that I've put you through over the past few weeks. James was at the Coachella event with security and the Sugar Bear Company helped him there. This was on the condition that he had to promote their hair vitamins by uploading an Insta story. James did that without giving much thought about the fact that Sugar Bear is a competitor to his best friend Toddy's Halo hair vitamins. This was the whole issue, and Toddy was all over the place. She couldn't handle this and didn't believe what James Charles told. She was totally affected emotionally and vented out a lot of personal attacks on James. Whoever came to know the issue found James act irresponsibly and as a betrayal. 
The empathy waves earned Tati 4 million subs in a week. That means her sub count became 10 million in a week. However, James Charles, after many attempts to clear his side, decided to come up with a logical and, with proof, explanation on the events that happened. Watching Tati's video, it's clear to me that she also is in a really dark place as well and has been pained by this whole situation. Or I do believe her when she says that she did not want this to get so vile. Um, I don't really think any of us thought it was going to be as big as it really was. This video has definitely cleared the air. It was a very impulsive decision for James to take up Sugar Bear promotion and he was compelled in that situation. At the same time, it was very natural for Tati to experience the heartbreak seeing that promotion from her very close friend. If you ask me, no one can really be blamed here. Tati and James share a very close bond and that's the main reason they're both hurt in this situation. Anyways, things are settling down. Tati subs, which spiked to 10 million, is reducing every day. It's 9.8 million now and is expected to go down. The internet rushes into controversies and then goes back to normal very soon. They move to new issues, leaving behind what happened yesterday. It's up to those who are involved to handle these and bring their life back together and survive. We hope Toddy Westbrook and James Charles will be able to look at this issue in the third man's perspective and truly wish they'll be able to forgive each other and get back together. So there guys, that was the Draw My Life of Toddy. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more amazing Draw My Life videos, subscribe to my channel guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, peace out.